Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Actually, off the top of my head, can I remember who recommended this? I know I kept, I got several comments about Cupcake, the Cupcake brand, but I don't think I've ever tried anything from them. Besides today, we have Cupcake Vineyards Butter Kissed Chardonnay. First of all, the packaging is just so soothing like I, when i look at it i was just like okay i must try this one so i think that's what happened because mind you i bought all these wines weeks ago so i really don't remember off the top of my head i have to go back it'll be somewhere on the screen somebody said try cupcake brand if i can't find it just know one of you lovely subscribers told me to try the cupcake brand and you you didn't spec blah blah blah. You didn't specify which wine I should try from the brand, so I just went ahead and chose for myself. Thirteen point five percent alcohol by volume, twenty eighteen California. Has this gorgeous gold foil type of design, and on the back, you know, got that little, you know whatever you want to call this description that's a good word for it um so in general pregnant women shouldn't shouldn't drink 750 milliliters cupcake creamy buttery and vanilla our butter kiss chardonnay is a rich decadent take on a timeless varietal varietal whatever we grow our grapes in the sun drenched <laughs> vineyards of california where the long, warm, growing seasons season helps us coax rich, indulgent flavors into the bottle. Butter Kiss Chardonnay has a smooth, creamy mouthfeel with luscious, buttery notes and hints of vanilla, white peach, and citrus zest. I'm going to like this. I can already tell. Enjoy at impromptu get-togethers with friends and serve chilled with wood-fired pizza or Parmesan-crusted chicken breast. Hmm, okay. And that is from Jessica Tomei the winemaker and visit their website at cupcakevineyards.com so vanilla i love vanilla i like the taste of vanilla i like to smell like vanilla like vanilla is just my thing creamy and buttery i mean who don't like butter i don't know this is probably just a fake thing but anyway this is the bottle super cute super pretty had it in the freezer since i got home about an hour and a half ago I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it if I can. Cause I'm exhausted. I didn't get any sleep last night. Okay. Twist off cap, convenience. I thought last week's wine smelled like beer. This one smells like beer. I mean, why do I keep saying that? Beer, wine, alcohol, whatever. Okay. I'm gonna like this, I can already see it. I'm gonna like this, I can already see it. I'm gonna like this, I can already see it. I'm only gonna pour a little bit of this, cause, um, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm having a chicken salad tonight. Maybe I should taste this with my food and do like a little clip and let you guys know. Cause right now by its lonesome, I probably wouldn't get this again. Um, mm. Mm. It's flat. Don't ask me to describe flat. Well, I'm gonna try anyway. Y'all didn't ask me. Blah, blah, blah. So this is it's Chardonnay. Okay, that's the first thing. Chardonnay. When you think of Chardonnay, or when I think about it, don't think overly sweet. 
don't really think rich bold flavors think of something light and subtle the first week it was a lightly sweet moscato moscato chardonnay two different things chardonnay I, I just automatically feel like I should have made my food then tasted this. Because, I mean, this is okay. It's not horrible. It is not horrible at all. It's not horrible. I'm not, not knocking it. It's not. I haven't dabbled with too many Chardonnay, so maybe it's something to get used to. This is something like when you want something like light, refreshing, not too sweet. It has a little sweetness, but it's almost like a bitter tart sweetness. I'm trying to think of something that, I don't know, drawing a blank. Hmm. How can I describe this? This is, It's smooth, it's not very bold. Like, Chardonnay and bold, don't even think about using them in the same sense. Like, either you like it or you don't. And honestly, would I get this again? Probably, maybe. It was, it probably one of those wines that I just have on deck. Like, girls night in, we made pizza or chicken like it said and we need just you know something light not trying to get like tipsy but just something cute she's cute she's a cute one something light to go with our meal this will probably be it i would probably buy this again i might buy this again i might perhaps i might perhaps sort of maybe i don't know could be possibly I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and give it, give it two and a half wine glasses maybe I don't know I don't feel like I'm being so hard on Miss Chardonnay here but to try more cupcake brand wines um I thought this was going to be something that I was just going to be head over heels for. And sadly, it's really not the case. I do taste like the notes of peach, um, citrus, not so much, vanilla. I can taste a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Other than that, um, it's just a plain white wine to me. It's just a plain white wine, Chardonnay. It's not gonna be like, mmm, yummy, tasty. It's not that, it's not that one. It's not that type, you gotta try it for yourself. So I'm reading some of the reviews and a lot of people are saying it's very oak-like, very oaky. Uh, expect lots of oak. We like to have our butter Chardonnay with our popcorn and sharp white cheddar cheese. See, this this is what I'm saying. Like, they already have comments of like, uh, we like to pair it with this. I'm gonna go and try this with my food and see how I like it. I'm just having a simple little chicken salad, nothing crazy, okay? Um, I think this is one of those wines with food. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get it again. But just sitting here right now, just tasting it, it's kind of like, eh, whatever. Again, when it comes to cupcake brand wines, please leave specific um, titles, like the specific one that you like that you think I should try. Just naming the brand, I'm just going to randomly pick whichever one. So again, this one I picked basically by myself, but you guys did say that I should just try the cupcake brand. So I'm open to trying different ones, but for the first one up, this one, it was okay.